Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Tom Handley. I'm a Columban missionary priest. Uh, even though I didn't state out that way, um, first of all, I was ordained in 1977 for the Diocese of Cloyne in County Cork. And uh, I spent my first two years in Southampton in England. And then I went back to Ireland where I spent more or less six more years. Um, I felt myself with a missionary vocation, or at least I, I felt I needed to try um, out uh, missionary life for a while. So I approached the Columbans in 1984, the end of it, and um, I was received by uh, two Columbans in Dalgan Park, and uh, eventually I was assigned to Chile. And I arrived in Chile at the beginning of the year 1985 and uh, almost immediately I was sent to Cochabamba to learn, to learn Spanish, uh, or Castigiano as it's called here. And having finished that, I was assigned to the parish of San, San Luis, the Huechuraba, in the northern zone of Santiago. I spent um, uh, three years there, uh, in my parish priest with John Marley, and uh, I was with uh, Paddy Dore and Kevin Mullins. And um, I had a... Um, I had a very interesting time in that, in that time, very busy. There were lots of organizations, um, church groups, uh, catechesis, and a whole lot of other things. And then uh, after a while, I was uh, assigned to uh, Iquique. Um, I was parish priest uh, for three years in Espiritu Santo. I'd taken over from Arsenio Redula. And um, there I met uh, tremendous people. When I first saw Iquique from the, from the, 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 the height that um, came in, I didn't uh, kind of, uh, I didn't warm to it immediately. I was asking myself what, what in the name of God was, uh, was I after being sent here for. Uh, but eventually when I actually met people and, uh, you know, the masses on Sunday and so forth, I found them to be absolutely excellent. And uh, I really enjoyed my time there. Uh, we had a lot of visits up to the Altiplano Tambien to uh, villages and that, and um, that was, um, it brought more color into my missionary journey, missionary experience. However, when I finished my three years in, in, uh, in Iquique, uh, having been a diocesan, um, the decision was made with the Columbans that I would uh, go through a procedure of joining the Columbans uh, full time. And uh, I went uh, to do uh, a course um, of integration with the Columbans and uh, uh, as a reward they, they then they, they sent me to Pakistan and I arrived in Pakistan in 19, uh, 1993 and uh, there I spent uh, I've spent uh, three I spent 16 years uh, in that in that place my first uh, uh, endeavor in Pakistan was certainly to learn the language uh, it takes a lot longer than um, than learning Spanish. However, when I finished that, I was assigned to a place called Sheikhapura. And my main work there was uh, helping people who were being accused falsely of different things, usually to try and get a bribe from them. And um, I spent many hours and many days uh, visiting the court system in Sheikhapura, as well as the, um, the police stations um, in order to back up people. Again, a lot of people couldn't read or write, so the first thing was to, to, um, to uh, look at and read for them the accusation that was being placed against them and uh, to discuss with them the consequences of any action they would take. And um, that was, um, it was difficult work, uh, but it was a privilege to be there helping those people out, out in, that, um, in that situation. I suppose one of the, um, the, the, the things that marked me in Pakistan was it was Christmas and uh, quite cold and uh, we were out and I was out, I was with Marco Enriquez uh, but uh, I went out to the countryside to the different villages on the eve of Christmas Eve and then I would have been in the centre uh, for the following day. But I went to a place called Mango Baram and um, I visited all the houses, I can remember well there were 28 uh, Catholic houses there, and there was one Muslim house. However, um, we had mass in, in that place, and then I moved on to other places, having a mass about once every two hours up, and the last one would have been 12 o'clock at night, and then back to, uh, back to base. But um, uh, when I was celebrating the main mass in the center the following day, it was a mass that took place at one o'clock. I could see uh, Father Marco at the back, and he was waving at me, 
and I knew there was something wrong. And uh, when I finished Mass, I went down to him and he informed me that there were four people murdered in the village of Mangubaram um, at five o'clock that morning. Plus there was an eight-year-old girl as well who, um, who received a bullet wound to the inside of her upper arm. And um, that, um, it was Christmas Day and we were thinking of going into the centre house in, inside in, in New Muslim town in Lahore. And uh, we were kind of looked at each other and I said, no, we can't leave this. So uh, we decided to go uh, out to the village. And we sat with them there all day, um, you know, praying with them and trying to encourage them in the, in, the, in the terrible situation in which they found themselves. The place was full of police as well. But we stayed there um, all, all that day. And eventually we managed to do the funerals at about, um, at about 11 o'clock that night. Uh, it was too late at that stage to ride the motorbike into, into Lahore. It would be a journey of something like 50, 60 kilometers. So um, we looked for a restaurant in a place called Siadgat to see would we get something to eat for Christmas. And uh, there was very little open, but we found one hotel that had a kind of a, a variety of Chinese food. And uh, we sat down and uh, we looked at each other and we said, Happy Christmas. Uh, that was... Um, one of the, uh, I suppose, the very severe experiences I had in that way. But the overall experience of Pakistan uh, was very, very positive. I met a lot of friends and uh, I was in uh, three, four different parishes. Uh, I was in, uh, in Shekhapura, in Shadbag, in Ada, and in Greentown. And I still have a lot of friends that I communicate with through Facebook. Thank you uh, for listening to this and I send uh, regards to all my friends around the Colombian world and at home, of course. Thank you very much.